and let's take a look at these Apple factory workers in China. This is the environment where the Chinese workers were working. I mean, eight or 10 people share a dormitory and um, they work like um, day and night and they got paid $3 per hour. And, and that's why there were massive amounts of suicides committed by the Apple factory workers inside China. Very heartbreaking. So I think in this country, people have been wondering, besides boycotting the Made in China product, where can we go to buy, to support Made in America and buy products that are produced on the universal value for human rights and human dignity. So I am so glad that to hear that you have launched a great line of products to meet the consumer demand because we're patriots. We want to support the US-based supply chain based on the value that we believe in and that's human rights and uh, individual liberty and democracy. So tell us about you know what inspired you to to come up with the patriotic supply chain to replace uh, the um, the supply chain dominated by the evil CCP. Of course. Well, you guys know I am such huge fans of everything you do at, at the new federal state of China. I think I've spoken at is it two or three of your uh, anniversary celebrations. Yes. I'm, I'm always doing doing your shows, and because I really do credit you guys for helping me see the light on the CCP and understanding that they are so inextricably linked from the problems that we see here at home. So I, I would not have done the stories or reporting that I did if it, if it weren't for you guys. But you know that the strap line of, of The War Room, the show that I co-host is action, action, action. And I got tired of every day, I would be putting up stories exposing Chinese Communist Party infiltration. And then I'd be buying clothes that were made in China or people would ask me, oh, this dress that you were wearing on this one show, you know, where'd you get it from? And I was sending them off to go buy, whether it was a China made product or even countries along the Belt and Road Initiative, which is indirectly propping up the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, so I would say inspired by the mantra of action, 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 I decided one day, just it was actually in November of last year, um, to start my own, as you alluded to, clothing and accessories line, really a lifestyle brand um, and a non-negotiable for me on it was was two things. One, of course, that it was made here in the United States, um, but that consumers didn't have to pay that ridiculous premium that so often comes along with USA made goods, because I think especially in the economy that we're living in now, people want to make the right decision. They don't want to support the CCP, but if you have to pay 300 times what you would pay, right, for an American made product, I sympathize and I understand why people are making the decision if they have to still put food on the table. So if you look at our website, it's called She's So Right, the website she's so right.co, you'll see our price yeah. points are really on track with, with China made goods. And I would say the other.